Good morning friends I hope everyone is doing well I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding in the process of simplifying the context free grammar we have already discussed about how to eliminate the epsilon productions and unit productions also and I have given few examples for each one I hope you have understood that concept in this video I want to discuss how to eliminate the useless productions so we will discuss about steps in eliminating the useless productions it consists of two phases phase 1 and phase 2 so first I request everyone please note down these steps in phase 1 and phase 2 then we will discuss about the phase 1 and phase 2 so that you will understand the concept in a better way now let me discuss about the steps in phase 1 initialize i is equal to 1 I will take some variable i is equal to 1 include all symbols wi that derive some terminals include all symbols wi means you take a wi symbol and you add all the terminals which is having then include symbols wi plus 1 that derives wi from wi you will get some symbols they can derive something add them in the wi plus 1 now increment i and repeat the step 2 until wi plus 1 is equal to wi so we have wi and we have wi plus 1 now increment the i value and repeat the step 1 and step 2 till wi plus 1 is equal to wi meaning is that you have a wi set is there wi plus 1 set is there now wi will consist of some elements wi plus 1 will consist of some elements you repeat this process till the elements which are there in wi is equal to the element elements which are there in the wi plus 1 now include all production rules that have wi in it mean then you keep all these productions in the product given grammar so this is about the phase 1 now we will discuss about the phase 2 once this phase 1 is completed we'll start the phase 2 again initialize the i value is equal to 1 include the start symbol in the yi is it clear this will see this one will eliminate the useless productions then this one will eliminate the unreachable productions from the start symbol so how it will be done we will discuss initialize the i is equal to 1 include the start symbol in the yi you take a set yi and add the start symbol in that one include all symbols yi plus 1 that can be derived from yi you take another set yi plus 1 and include all the symbols that can be derived from yi meaning is that from the start symbol what are the symbols you can able to determine suppose let's take that from start symbol s a b is there okay s yes can able to determine a b now your yi will consist of only element s yes. now your yi plus 1 consists of s yes, a and b also are you able to understand so your yi consists of only yes if it is not visible i am writing here yi consists of yes yi plus 1 consists of yes a and b because from start symbol you can able to determine this one so you include all the symbols yi plus 1 that can be derived from yi and include all productions that have been applied even what are the productions are there that also you add from a if you can have anything you add them increment i and repeat step 2 until y i plus 1 is equal to i i whenever you are repeating this process if you anywhere if you find that y i plus 1 meaning is that the elements which are there in y i plus 1 is equal to elements which are there in y i then you can stop it because you will if you do it you will not you will get the same elements only so we will this one will help you to remove the unreachable productions if you are if you in a grammar if you have unreachable productions from the start symbol then we have to eliminate because we they will not be useful for us so you eliminate it so this one will help us to eliminate the useless productions after eliminating the useless productions we have to eliminate the unreachable productions also okay so that's why we have discussed as a phase one and phase two so what we will do whenever they will give a context free grammar and ask us to simplify first we will eliminate the unit production sorry epsilon productions 
the step one is that we need to eliminate the epsilon productions already i have discussed how to eliminate the epsilon production then we will eliminate the unit productions we will do it then we will eliminate the useless productions at last you have any unreachable productions are there that you will eliminate so that the complete process of simplifying the context free grammar will be done i hope you have understood the steps if you does not understand the steps don't worry i will take an example and i will discuss so that you will understand the concept in a better way thank you for watching my video if you have any doubts feel free to ask it in the comment section i will clear your doubts in less than 24 hours if you really like my teaching please press the like button share the videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you really don't like my teaching share the videos with your enemies so i request please don't stop sharing the videos either share with your friends or share with your enemies thank you for watching once again and have a nice day